Ж. It's 16 minutes past one. Um, I just drank. Hold on, let's just check. I just got a message. Okay, right. It's 17 minutes past one. <laughs> On the 20th of August, 2024. And I've just drank the... Um, Frap. Tonka. Vocation Stout. I forgot to mention coffee. In the entire review. Because there's a very strong coffee flavour. I didn't even think about that. But anyway, I feel... It was 8% and I feel totally sober. Well, I don't feel totally sober. I feel warm. Doesn't feel like 8%, guys. No, no way. I'm not better you. I'm not going to be quite um, normal. So anyway, I've got a second beer to review. Hopefully, I'm only doing two beers tonight. I don't know. See how, see how it goes on the PlayStation in a minute. Da -da! Never tried this one before. Badger Brewery. Outland. West Coast IPA. Bold, hoppy, citrusy, 5%. Quick, 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 quick. We're badges, not sheep. You'll find us in our own path. Oh, sorry. You'll find us on our own path, exploring our surroundings. Hunting out flavours and uncovering hidden secrets to bring you a characterful collection of craft beers. West Coast IPA. Bold, hoppy, citrusy. Like the Jurassic Coast, everything else pales in comparison. A truly spectacular Indian pale ale. Made from a tasty trio of Amarillo, Cascade and Mosaic hops. To give it a deep bronze colour, punchy, punchy citrus flavours, and a powerful hop character. Pair with a fully loaded cheeseburger and the friendly game of beach cricket. Paths forged, not fold. Outland. Right, so that's the brewery. And um, boy... Make a ten wheat, blah blah blah. Five percent. I like it. I like the label. Black and white for the badger there. Blue for the West Coast IPA. Smart. Smart. Let's go for it. Five percent. Yeah, I can't believe I had an 8% stout before. I can't feel it. I don't feel drunk. Oh, well, you know, I don't feel like an 8%. You know, you're quite sober. Like a copper bag. <laughs> it's all about flavour with some beers, isn't it? Alright, let's see what we've got here. Just about, just about. Oh, wait. My colour. Dark. Amber. Looks like a real ale, like an old school ale. A West Coast IPA. Whoa. That's very dark and it's clear, crystal clear. You want to come shot? There <laughs> it is. Frothy, foamy, and white. Massive head. Not like mine, because I'm not a big headed man, am I? As who could be big headed and be as ugly as me? Hey. 
orangey, citrusy. Smells fresh, but it smells like a real traditional ale. I can't really say much about the aroma. It's orangey, almost. Anyway, it's from Badger Brewery. It's called Outland West Coast IPA. 5% up. Hell yeah. I got it from Tesco's by the way. I think it's about £3.50, I'm not sure. Alright. It's quite tame. At first, it's got a traditional ale flavour. Not a copper coin flavour. I'm surprised because of the hops. Mm, not bad. It, it does taste like a traditional ale. It tastes like a British traditional ale. It doesn't taste there, man. A West Coast IPA. <laughs> Very delicate. Very refreshing. Very thirst quenching. Um, not much palate. Not much hoppiness really, considering there's three hops in there. It's kind of tame. It reminds me of a... I can't remember what it's called now. Timothy... Something landlord, remember the landlord beer, Timothy Taylor, Timothy Taylor, landlord. It's got a vibe of that. It tastes like landlord beer from Timothy Taylor's. It's a bit strange considering the label and the hops are different as well. There's a little bit of citrusiness comes through. And it's mostly the copper coin flavour, you know. You know that copper coin, have you ever put a penny in your mouth? Perish the thought. Could have been in someone's arsehole. <laughs> I don't know who puts pennies in their arseholes, but... <laughs> Alright. 5%, I'm starting to feel that now. I feel like, it, like a drink of beer, you know. I didn't feel any of that before with that stout. Um, yeah, the uploads are quicker. Um, it's quite bland in a way, but very satisfying. I've got hiccups. Oh. I think I'm only drinking these two beers tonight, I think. <laughs> Gotta take it easy because I'm faster than that, like. <laughs> yeah. It's quite bland, right? I give it a big, big taste. Big, big gulp. It's kind of bitter at first, and then it just levels off to a dead nice smooth, rounded, caramelly flavour. I don't know. There's not much taste in there, really. I'll give you the cum shot, show you the progress report. Looks okay, doesn't it? Got a nice look in the glass. Looks alright. It's quite bland. And then... Uh, yeah, I'll give that an 8. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. 
Because it's not exciting. But it's nice, it's quality, you know what I mean? I like the label, I love the colour. 8 out of 10. Can't really say much more, there's not much more to report on. It's alright. Thanks for watching, see you later.